So, back in the day, I had one of the best childhoods ever. And one of these kids' shows was probably one of the best things I ever saw. And that was, of course, Thomas the Tank Engine. Who else were you expecting? Thomas and Friends. One of the best show. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, this isn't the right Thomas. Nope, that's still not the right Thomas. Okay, here's the Thomas that we know. Now, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends came out in 1984, created by Bridge Allcroft, and based on the WWE Audrey's Railway Series. This was a British television show with trains, you know, talking trains and stuff that will last until the last few decades, and a whopping over 39 years. Wow, that's pretty incredible. But as of right now, since the Railway Series, it's been nearly almost 80 years. Thomas is getting real, really old right now. And back in the day, I really loved this show. Now, I got, I got into Thomas between the age of, I don't know, three or four. I remember getting my first ever Trackmaster set. It was that one Trackmaster set with Colin, Colin Surprise. And I really enjoyed that. And I started one time, my mom gave me a DVD, which is James Learns a Lesson. And I watched that, and I loved, you know, this DVD. And I started rewatching them that over and over. Until I tell my mom I want to buy some of these Thomas and Friends DVDs, which my mom did. However, on my TV, I... There's this network called Treehouse, which is a Canadian network, uh, which uh, was airing Thomas and Friends, rerun reruns of season 8 through 11 Thomas, and yeah, I grew up watching the hit era Thomas, then the classic era Thomas, and I didn't watch, I didn't watch the nitrogen era of Thomas, but who cares, I, I watched rerun reruns of the hit era Thomas well, every day uh, in Treehouse, and that was like the best thing ever in my life to do. However, my mom did buy me the Creaky Cranky DVD, and I rewatched that multiple times over and over and basically over. But you might be asking to yourself, Hey Jonathan, I thought you were a LEGO Ninjago YouTube channel. You should keep doing LEGO Ninjago videos. Stop talking about talking trains or cars or some shit. Come on, do LEGO Ninjago again. Who cares about this talking train show? You better wait because I want to do a Thomas and Friends video. Okay, please let me do a Thomas and Friends video. Okay, I got carried away. But anyways, I am gonna be ranking every Thomas and Friends season worst to best. There's a couple of reasons why I'm making this video. For obvious reasons, today's actually my birthday. And to celebrate my birthday, one of the best franchises of all time from my childhood would be this. So for my birthday video, I'm gonna be talking of Thomas the Tank Engine. So, yeah, here are the rules. Number one, all 24 seasons will be ranked worst to best. Number two, this is um, every single Thomas and Friends season, and the movies do not apply. So, Thomas and the Magic Railroad up to blah blah do not count in this video and finally number three these are my opinions so if you love um season one but hated season 12 then yeah so feel, feel free to hate a season that i love or love a season that i hate but without carrying away let's go to ranking every thomas and friends season quick side note right here uh, the Tom Fred special, such as Marvelous Machinery, All Tracks Lead to Rope, or Steep Team to Rescue, do not count as a uh, season as they're in specials. And season 25 and season 26 
I'll let just go to dog count. So without further ado, let's go to the list. Season 15 is the worst autonomous season of all time. And many fans agree too. Now first of all, it has some worse episodes. For example, Up Up and Away, which is one of the worst episodes of Thomas and Henry's Happy Call, which is also worse too. Stop That Bus is an okay episode. Suck on You is a fantastic episode. Kevin the Steamy. Ugh, oh my god, I don't know what this is. Walkie Whistles, yeah, that's a bad episode. And Fiery Flynn's also bad because Thomas's smoke box is on fire. Thank you, Sharon Miller. But, yeah. The, this album of season has some of the worst episodes possible, and a few episodes that are good. Uh, let's see. The first three episodes, Gordon, Ferdinand, Toby, and Dash, and Emily and Dash, are pretty horrible. Mostly Gordon and Ferdinand. That's the worst episode. But Toby and Dash is, uh, is also terrible. Emily and Dash is also bad too. But Gordon and Ferdinand are like the worst ones ever. But yeah. But I consider season 15 to be one of the worst seasons of how bad these episodes are. Thanks to Sharon Miller. Season 13 is also terrible, but it's okay. Now, there are a few stupid and bad episodes here and there, like uh, The Lion of Sodor, or Creaky Cranky, or, you know, Slippy Sodor. But the, some episodes, like Double Trouble, which is a fantastic episode, and uh, Tickle Pink, is, they're all good. Playtime is alright, uh, Thomas and the Pigs is very bad, Time for a Story is also pretty bad, Toby's Whistle is, was a fantastic episode, uh, The Runaway Kai is just stupid, Splish Splash Splash is also kind of stupid, Soul Track is just awful, but it's, 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 it's very awful too. Hero Helps Out is a, it's a, it's an okay episode, and yeah. That's basically it. Overall, uh, season 13 has some good uh, episodes and a lot of pretty bad episodes as well. Season 14 is the same as season 13. Some with good episodes and a lot of bad episodes. So we got Thompson's tail, Tall Friend, which is stupid. And we got Charlie and Eddie, which is a, an okay episode. Toby and the Whistle Woods is stupid. Uh, Henry's health and safety is the worst. Paco's Thomas is, is dumb and stupid. Victor says yes is uh, it's fine. Thomas in charge is just literally the green controller, but yeah, I don't care. Merry Winter Wish. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how would I rate that. Uh, jumping Joby Wood. Yeah, that's a weird episode. OD Dignity is a great one. Uh, Mary Misty Island, yeah. And uh, Henry's Magic Box, yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah, like I said, there are a few bad episodes, but good episodes. So, season 14 is just basically like season 13. Season 22 has a bit of bad episodes, so let's talk about them. First of all, I don't like the international episodes, but I do say that some of them are good. Number one engine, and Thomas's, I mean, trusty Chunky, Thomas Goes to Bollywood, and uh, Outback Thomas, and Tiger Trouble are uh, good, uh, you know, international episodes. And some like the water wheel or Thomas and the dragon. I actually like uh, Cyclotons and Kangaroo Christmas. Those are good. And the rest of the international episodes are bad too. But the solar episodes are good. The case of the bustling parts are is good. Rosie's red is very bad. But the truck is one of the best of Edward episodes. Uh, 
Sings believing nice to see Merlin back. It's full of guff. It's nice we got guff in that episode. Uh, uh Forever and Ever is, is a bad episode. And what we recognize is also pretty bad too. An engine of many colors. I think that was pretty good. That was a good episode. And yeah, that's about it. Sash of the fireworks. That's a horrible episode. That's a horrible episode. But yeah, I love season 22 with some good international episodes and a bit of good solar episodes. But yeah, I like how they tackle some of the international episodes in season 22. And yeah, overall, really like this season. With a few bad episodes. Season 7 is a weird and a forgettable season, much as the production history. If you guys didn't know, uh, the DVD uh, and probably VHS version of New Friend for Thomas for the US, we got the uh, Michael Angelis dub of the US because at the time, you know, Alec Baldwin left the show after season 6 before getting Michael Brandon to narrate season 7. And yeah, season 7 has a weird, you know, variety of episodes. I can't pronounce that word, so yeah, I'm very sorry. But yeah, we got some good episodes like Emily's New Coaches to Percy Gets It Right, which is a bad episode. The Old Bridge, where Scorloe, you know, is out of character. What's the Matter with Henry is a fine episode. Jape to the Queen of Soldier, that's a great episode. Spotless Records, uh, it's a terrible one. And also bad a uh, day at Castle Lodge. Oliver the Snow Engine, that's a funny one. And also something fishy. Runaway Elephant and Peace of Quiet are also bad. Uh, time is in the search for Sir uh, Fergus is also good. Bold your eyes again, yeah, yeah uh, that's an okay. Uh, we got the best dress engine. That's all. That's good. And also Gordon Spencer. Uh, no, uh, so hasty cake. That's also bad. Justy Rusty is, is, is okay, and hooray for Thomas. Yeah, that's that's that. I think that's an okay. It's, it's a solid okay to me. But yeah, overall, season seven has uh, some we we are I can't pronounce it. Yeah, some you know good and just like a tiny bit of bad episodes. But I put it on the twentieth spot because it is a forgettable season, and I don't remember that much of season seven. So, I am so sorry for all Thomas fans who love Season 7, but hey, you probably think it's a forgettable Season 2. Season 18 is an okay season. Now, there is some bad episodes like the Flatbeds of Fear, or Duck in the Water, or even Thomas and Emergency Cable. But there are some good episodes like Mr. Gator, or no ski without coal, or Duncan's slip coaches or signals cross, disappearing diesels, not so slow coaches, and old reliable Edward. Those are like one of my favorite episodes from season 18, and there are a few that I don't like, but I gotta pick my favorite episode from season 18. It was got it's gotta be signals cross or old reliable Edward. I love old reliable Edward and signals cross. Because Old Rival Edward is a nice, you know, Edward episode. Signal's Cross is a nice Toby episode because we never get a Toby episode. We get it like once a season. And so Edward gets to see uh, an episode once a season as well. But I love season 18. And I put it in, uh, in number 19 because there's other uh, seasons that are better. But I love season 18. It is an okay season. I like season 3. Uh, season 3 has some memorable episodes such as Percy's Promise, Gordon and the Famous Visitor, Thomas Gets Bob, and uh, Henry's Forest. And I don't know if there's any bad episodes, but there's a few like uh, Diesel Does It Again, which is uh, it's a, it's a bad episode. Uh, everyone says No Joke for Japes is also a bad one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There, there's a few bad ones like, huh? Let's see, what are bad ones? 
one even turns a bad one. I don't like that. All of those, uh, no. Uh, first seed chance of the first full day is also bad. And, yeah, there's not, there's not, uh, too much bad episode. Escape is a good episode. Bulgy's a good one. Uh, Tender Engines is also good. All at Sea is also great. James Buzz Boss is awesome. Toby Cypro's nice too, and also Trust Thomas. But yeah, those are like some of the good ones, alright? Yeah, so Season 3 has some memorable episodes of the classic era, but there's a few bad ones, like, like, a, like a chance of a 5% of bad episodes. Season 8, one of my favorite childhood seasons back in the day when I was a kid. Now, there are some dumb episodes, so let's go over them. So, we got some bad episodes like Toxic the Tuba and Percy's New Whistle. We got, and we got like good ones like Toxic the Rescue, Henry's Wishing Tree, and James gets a new coat. And there's just like, like some more dumb, like, dumb and stupid ones like Thomas Emily the Stove Plow or Emily's New Lead. And so, actually good ones like Thomas A. Today or Percy's Big Mistake. Yeah, and there's too many Thomas episodes, like Thomas and the Fireworks, or like Thomas and the School. Thomas gets it right, but yeah, that's a bad one. And also, Thomas and the Circus, eh, that's alright. Squeak, Round and Roll, that's a good episode. Edward the Great, nah, that's fine. Spick and Span, that's a fantastic episode. Gordon takes charge. Uh, I, that's a that's an okay episode. Um, let's see, Fish, uh, nah, Elvis Adventure. Halloween, that's a good episode. James goes too far. Yeah. Chickens is to school's a stupid episode. As well as Too Hot for Thomas and also Percy and the Magic Carpet. All of those episodes are pretty bad and some of them are pretty good. But I put this at number 17 because of how many, you know, bad episodes there are and some few episodes that are good. Yeah. I love season 8. That's good. I do not like season 8. But I do love the episodes, okay? Don't get me wrong. This is one of my favorite childhood seasons when I was a kid. But yeah, I just ranked it lower on the list because, yeah, there are some terrible episodes. Season 23. There are some good episodes from Sildor. Now, let's start. Now, we got a bulgy episode. We would never expect to get a bulgy episode. And we got chuckles and trucks. Okay. But we, we also have, you know, I mean, chuckles and trucks is a good episode. And we also have Heart of Gold, which is also good. Gordon gets the giggle, giggles. That has to be one of my favorite episodes because Gordon is a fantastic character and a lovable, you know, character. So, yeah. We got Diesel Do Right, Diesel Does It Right, I don't know, it's a reference, I don't know, but yeah, that's a good episode. And it's, that's about it. There are some bad episodes like, uh, Bad Key Percy, that's a bad episode, and Thomas Makes a Mistake, and Crowding Around. But there are good international episodes like The Other Big Engine or Bachia, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce it. Or that one episode with, uh, I don't know, that match episode, I can't pronounce these words. Or Landback Shade. Or, you know, Lorenzo Solo. Yeah. Chill Out for Thomas is also a bad one. It also Diesel Blows Away. Those are some bad episodes, but I would never expect some good episodes in season 23. And a lot of characters getting their own episodes of like Big Thomas. But yeah, I personally, I love Gordon Gets the Go Go. It's probably one of the best season 23 episodes of all time. So yeah, props to you, season 23. Have a good episode in this season. Season 1 was a fantastic season to start the whole franchise. Now, Everyone loves season one, and I love season one. Whatever narrator you pick, I would always go for George Carlin's narration, some Ringo's narration, 
But I will agree that I love Rico. George Carlin would always be, you know, the narrator for season one to two. Because every time I got, you no, know, when I got James Lord's lesson, I think I the, I think I got the Ringo one. I think I don't know or the George one. See, I am so confused with my na my narrators. Okay, but yeah, season one was a great season to start the whole franchise. Like, there's no bad episodes whatsoever. We got an introduction of Thomas Gordon, Edward James. Henry, Toby, and Percy, which is a fantastic, and, like, like, the episodes are really good, like, uh, you know, the first episode, Thompson Gordon, and also the Fly Kipper, and James Lord from Lesson, yeah, there's so many good episodes, yeah, but, yeah, overall, season one was a fantastic season, no bad episodes, but, whatsoever, but it was the best season to start the whole franchise. Season 9 is pretty weird. Now, what I say about weird is, they, this season introduced a lot of new characters in this season. And, yeah. For example, we got uh, Mighty Mac, where they introduced Mighty Mac, and Molly's special special with Molly. And uh, Thomas and the New Engine, where they introduced Devil. And uh, Dennis is also in this season. And you know what happens to all of these new engines? They just disappear after season 12. Wow! That is so great. I mean, yeah, that's literally it. But there are there is some bad episodes like uh Scarlovi the Brave and Bolden Brave and Thomas's Day Off, etc. Henry and the Flag Bolt, yeah, that's a weird one too. But there are some good episodes. Thomas's new trucks, that's a great episode. Duckin' in the Old Mind, that's a fantastic episode. Flower Power is also just a funny episode. And we also have Tops of the Statue, that's great. The Magic Lab, oh my god, the Magic Lab was so good. And then, there's nothing, oh well, it is the Dinosaur, that's a, that's a, I don't like that. Tops of the Toy Workshop, uh, that's alright. Toothful Toots, uh, the birthday picnic. Respect for Gordon. That's a good episode too. Respect for Gordon is also good. Yorkshire Bundle that's bad. The oil painting. Versus the oil. That's a good episode. Tops of the Rainbow. I do not like it because it's literally. I just don't like how Tops is just following the rainbow, etc. But yeah, I just love season nine. Season nine is a really good season. But yeah, I just love season nine with these new characters. We got. Uh, an hour gauge engine, a diesel engine, and two steam engines. That is pretty good. And yeah, it just wasted a whole bunch of money because you just made props of these engines that you will never use again. So props to you. Ugh, yeah. Season 6 has a few bad episodes. Uh, we got, uh... Uh, we got uh, World Shock Dungeons. That's a terrible episode. I just don't like it, okay? It's okay. Uh, Bad Day for Harold. Yeah, no sleep for Craig game. Let's play the Richard's Crowley. Uh, what else? What's their bad? Waffle Boiler? Yeah, Toby had a little run. That's, it's between. The, it's a bad episode. Thomas Percy and the Squeak. Yeah, yeah. Edward the Ruby Show Legend. Yeah. Multi so that's a bad one. Let's dunk, Duncan, 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 Duncan. Yeah, Duncan, uh, yeah, that's a bad one. But there are some good ones. We got Percy's Chocolate Crunch, a good one. That's memorable. And Gordon Takes a Tumble, also memorable. Uh, Scare the Engine, also memorable too. It's Only Snow, also memorable. And the the Jack episodes, the Fennedine and Jack jumps in, yeah. Of course it makes sense. And Thomas and the Janitor, that's a good episode, see? I mean, Season 6 has a few bad episodes, but in the end, Season 6 is a okay, you know, season with a certain amount of good episodes. Season 17 became almost a good season, so let's talk about the bad episode. So we got a bit of some bad episodes. Not so Charlie, that's a bad episode. 
Uh, we also have first season Lucky Day, that's also bad. And uh, too many fire engines, that's also pretty bad too. And God versions, terrible. And yeah, that's basically it for all the bad episodes. But the rest are good. No Mr. Dice Engine, that's good. Smelly Kipper is also good. Uh, the Afternoon 2 Express is also good, and also where uh, the see it goes to turntable. No Snow for Thomas. Yeah, I don't like that episode. It's basically Thomas, Emily, and the Snowplow was what's in CGI for. That's literally it. They just took that. I'm like, hmm, I bet no one has ever seen this episode. Blah, blah, blah. I just did that. The Thomas Way. Really love the Thomas Way. The Switch and Luke's new friend. Love that. Henry's Hero. One of the best episodes. And, yeah. Uh, we also have Calm Down Here. That's a bad episode. Border of Dry. Way where it was. That's great. Uh, Kevin's Cranky Friend. I love that. And Scrubs Makeover is also good, too. So, a lot of good episodes, but it was so close to being a good season. Season 24. Now, season 24 has some good episodes, so let's cover them right now. So, we got Pops' Fuzzy Friend, which I really love, especially the dog kissing on James. The Great Little Railway Show, which is a very great episode, and not to have milk gauge one engines around for the track. And we got uh, Emily's the Rescue, which is bad. Uh, I knew. Uh, we, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Mia and the Unfriendly Alpha. Uh, I don't like that. But James, the Super Engine, is really good. Time says not so lucky day, that's bad. And Ace's Brave Drop. I, I sort of love that. And Sonny's Second Chance. Yeah. And Thomas and the Inventor. Workshop yeah. and yeah, Yacht Ballad the Tiger really love that episode. And Gordon and Rebecca coming through, that's also good. And Kenji Ray Serials, I sort of love me as my idea. Cleo the Road Engine, uh, and also Cleo's First Snow, yeah. But I do love Thomas's Animal Friends, which was the final ever Thomas episode to end. You know, the whole franchise before Mattel, you know, turned it into a baby show. So thank you so much, Mattel. So the reason, I love season 16 of the Nitrogen Era. Now, um, this is the final season of the Nitrogen Era for going to the Renaissance. And I love this season because there are some good episodes. But... There are some bad ones like Old Weezy Wobbles, Ho Ho Snowman, which is the worst season 60 episode, and Percy and the Monster of Brendam, and yeah, Thomas where he toots to crows, and yeah, that's about it. There are some good ones like the um, Happy Birthday Shirt, that was a good episode. Uh, that one Toby episode where they where where he and Renee go to Misty Island. And Express coming through, just that, that's a good episode. That has to be one of my favorite season 16 episodes. But there are just like like four, or five bad episodes. But the rest of these, um, the rest of the episodes are pretty good. Season two is better than season one. Let me explain. Now season two is so good. Okay, so the episode choice, for example, we got, uh, we got Birdie's Chase, Better Late Than Ever, and we got Old Iron, probably Old Iron's my favorite episode of season two. We also have Ghost Train, which is also good too, and yeah, I just like season two, alright? I mean, it's better than season one, but hey, season one was the start of a franchise, season two was the best season after season one so good job season two really love the nice episodes no bad episodes to complain i love season 12. <laughs> i know i know season 12 is everyone's least favorite season 
But for me, I love season 12. So, here's the thing. I love every single episode except two. Which is Save You and Push Me Pull You. Save You is just a bad episode where Thomas just becomes a hero, but he ends up not being a hero. And he fixes his mistakes, but not ducks. So, yeah. And Push Me Pull You is the worst Thomas episode of all time. Because it's so dumb and stupid. And yeah, everyone hates it. But overall, those are the two uh, episodes that is bad. But the rest of the episodes are pretty good. He Ho Thomas is good. Excellent. Emily is also good. Thomas put, puts his break is also good because we got Murdoch. And this is the first season to use CGI faces from Nitrogen Studios. And if you didn't know, this was the last season. Well, actually, you should know, but. This is the last season to use model props because of how expensive it is to film. Probably because they keep making new engines and they will never use them again. That's probably why. So, thanks a lot, Hit. But, yeah, this was the final Hail Mary, you know, time of season to bring back old um, characters uh, such as Donald Douglas, Oliver, Murdoch, Arthur, and freaking Stepney. I don't know how Stepney was there. And I don't know how Hit still, well, probably the the old models were shipped to Hit, so Hit had them. So, yeah, so it's so weird that we're seeing Stepney in Season 12, since we last saw him since Season 7. So, yeah. So, overall, I really love Season 12. Ah, uh, yes, Season 10. Now we're getting to the good seasons. Now, I love season 10. Some of these episodes are, are actually good, like Follow That Flower, or The Green Controller, or Tox's Tricky Tree, or, or Toby's After You Off, or It's Gonna Be Gordon. Those are some good episodes, and there are some bad episodes, like Which Way Now, or Tox and the Shooting Star, or, you know, Emily and the Special Cars. Like, those are dumb. But, yeah, like, Miss, like, uh, Thomas's Frosty Friend, or Sticky Taffy Thomas, or Fearless Ready, those episodes are pretty good. So, I love Season 10 because, yeah, they give you assortment of Mauer Gauge and Standard Gauge episodes. Like, I love Fearless Ready because we introduced to Fearless Ready, which Sir Handel knows, so, yeah. My only question is, how does Sir Handel know Fearless Ready? I don't know, but yeah. Overall, love season 10, and yeah, love the episodes right here. Season 4. It is one of everyone's favorite seasons out there, and I personally like season 4. Because there are some good episodes, like the, the 100 episode, Tom's and Special Lo Letter, love that episode. We also got Thomas Meets the Queen and Fish. There are some bad ones like Bullseyes or Special Attraction. And I don't know. I don't know what other bad episodes they are. But they're good episodes like Rusty in the Boulder, Train Stops Play, and Roll Out, Toast Stands By. Those are some good memorable episodes. And yeah, we, we had to watch like. 14, you know, 14 Hour Gauge episodes before we get to the Standard Gauge episodes, which is, yeah. And, yeah, this is the first season to only have 25 instead of 26 episodes. Maybe there are 26, but, yeah, I think there are 25, that's what it says here, but I think there are 26. Maybe I'm wrong, so, yeah. Oh boy, season 19. Man, I love season 19. But there are a few bad episodes, so let's talk about it. Henry spots trouble. Yeah, I hate it. And we got the Beast of Sodor, which, yeah, Henry scares snowmen, like Ho Ho Snowman. We also have uh, the little engine who will race ahead. Yeah, it's just stupid. And, yeah. 
got a water, wild water rescue, but it's an okay, you know, season, not season, episode. But the other episodes are good. Tom's and the Babysitter, Rocky's Rescue, The Other Side of the Mountain, Diesel's Ghostly Christmas, which is just basically the Christmas Carol, but with trains. Uh, Filch the Rescue, Slow Steam and Tube, Wheels Good, Told at Sea, Dead and Dark. Some place like, oh, Cranky Christmas, Henry, uh, Lost Property, The Truth About Toby, and Who's Jeffy. Those are good episodes, okay? And Red vs. Blue, that's a good episode. I love those episodes. Season 19 has a good, uh, uh, re a good amount of episodes. My, my favorite being, you no know, Goodbye, Sir Top of Hat, which is one of the best episodes from Season 19. But overall, one of the best uh, season ever. But there are two more CGI seasons better than this one. How I describe season 5 is cinematic. Now, season 5 has a bunch of action, and uh, yeah, it's very intense to me. And everyone loves season 5, and yeah, me too. I also love season 5. The good amount of episodes are very good, and the only bad episode I would I would say is uh, make someone happy because it's just a slow episode, and yeah, people um um when I was going to the the Thomas fandom, people say Snow is uh, one of the worst Thomas episodes from season five. I don't think so. I kind of like uh you know Snow. It's an alright episode. But to me, everyone's favorite episode has to be like, uh, hmm, Better View for Gordon, or Cranky Bugs, or even like By George, or Rusty in the Boulder. Like, those are one of those good episodes. I mean, I like those episodes. I like Happier Ever After, or Oliver, Oliver's Fine, or something in the air. Or maybe uh, Jade and the Trouble with Tree. I mean, those episodes are good too, right? I mean, yeah. But I like Lady Hat's birthday party. That's the best season five episode that I would enjoy watching over and over again. Because you know we got we got we got a spotlight episode of the humans and some train. I mean, of course trains are cool, but of course we need we need humans in this episode. So yeah, overall season five is a fantastic season. Man oh man, season twenty was. One of the best, you know, runner era seasons. I mean, first of all, we got we got you know some nice episodes of each character, like some characters sometimes. Like Diesel gets an episode, Henry and Toby and Sydney, even like Sapsack and Bradford, even Ryan and Daisy and Skiff get an episode, and also James. The Pack also gets one. Connor gets one. The the mini um. Ar Arlesdale and just gets one even like the rescue center and um Crew and also like Hugo gets like two episodes and you got a, a Glenn the coffee pot even the breakdown train like yeah this this season went wild because um, This um, they were supposed to end with 20 seasons and they thought the show was gonna end so they wanted to make this one of the best um, seasons to to end the franchise, so they give us like one of these best ep a lot of good episodes. No bad episodes in this, but yeah, I love all of these episodes. I would rewatch them over and over again. But like they added two ep two more episodes. I mean, you know the classic Thomas with twenty six episodes, but you know Andrew Brothers like now nah, we're gonna give you two new um you know episodes. That being the Christmas coffee pot and over the hills, I think. There's 28 episodes. I don't. Yeah, there are 28 episodes. I'm just using YouTube for preference right here. But yeah, those episodes are so good. Season 20 is one of like the best uh, anti Butter seasons ever made. Season 21 is my favorite uh, CGI Thomas season of all time, and here's why. Now, uh, unlike season 20, season 21 
has good about it episodes too, with different characters. Like the fastest red engine, we have a Rosie episode, and Philip's number, which has Philip. Or new crane at the docks with Cranky, Big Mickey with a face, and Carly. And we also got Terrence Breaks with Eyes with Terrence and Daisy's Perfect Christmas with, you know, Daisy. And this is the shortest uh, Thomas season with only 18 episodes. There was originally going to be 26, but Ian McHugh, producer of Tom's and Friends, said some of the episodes got pushed into season 22. Now, there are some good episodes. Springtime for Diesel is a great episode. And Dowager Your Hat's Busy Day is one of the, the best and funniest episodes. Stuck in Gears is also great. And yeah, New Craze at the Docks, and that's jaw dropping and surprising for fans to see Big Mickey with a face. And PA Problems, yeah, that, I love that. And yeah, the fastest red engine of, of Sodor. Yeah, that happened a whole arc to get rid of Edward. The Big Freeze, yeah, that's alright. Emily in the middle. That's, that's a fantastic episode because that's Donald and Douglas. And yeah, this season also has two, uh, you know, uh, two, two like, uh, like two episodes to end, you know, the character's arc. Like, for example, I think it was I, I think it was a springtime for Diesel. That that was the end of Diesel's arc of being, you know, a devilist Diesel, and he became good. And Confu Confusion Coaches was the end of Gordon and Spencer's rivalry, rivalry since season seven. So it's nice they conclude those two, those storylines. But until Diesel became bad in season twenty-three, so thank you, Mattel. But overall, season twenty-one will be. Like mostly everyone and I favorite season of all time. Alright, we're at the number one. Yeah, that is Thomas number one. But my favorite Thomas season of all time is season eleven. <laughs> it's true. Season eleven is my favorite Thomas season of all time. Why why is that? Well, the camera. First of all, the tone of the camera is a bit uh, like HD and yellowish. That's what I thought because season eight to to ten is is like learning the same camera, but season eleven is more different, and I love that. The episodes are really good, and the new characters such as Emily in the garbage where we meet Whiff or Hector the horrid where we meet Hector, and some like fantastic episodes like you know Gordon and the Mechanic where they brought back Donald and Douglas or uh, don't be silly Billy uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that uh, we got hide and peep yeah and Thomas and the runaway car that's a good episode or Thomas in trouble and the stinky cheese or like uh, Carloy storms through okay that's that's also bad too but we also got cool truckies, wash behind your buffers, Sir Handel in charge, which is literally the green controller, and Thomas in charge, or the one Peter Sam episode from like season uh, 14, 13, 15 maybe, yeah, and Dingaling, I'm not joking, it's literally called Dingaling, that's literally the final episode of season 11, <sighs> yeah, but season 11 is my favorite season because that was the the season that I watched the most when I was a kid on Treehouse the most. So, season 11 will always be my favorite Thomas season of all time. And, I think we're done with this franking video. Man oh man, what a journey with this video. But, that is going to be it of me ranking every Thomas and Friends season. Now, I will do more videos. This is not only the video, uh, th not only the Thomas video I'm gonna be doing, but I'm also gonna be, uh, doing some more Thomas videos. Probably, I might go do ranking of every Thomas movie, which will be coming in about, you know, very, very soon. 
So stay for the lookout for ranking every movie ever. But what do you guys think about my ranking video? Have you been a Thomas and Friends fan for more than a while? Well, I have been since the age of three or four. And yeah, till this day, Thomas has been in my heart since I was a kid. I own mostly some of the toys and also some of the DVDs. But yeah, I've been a Thomas fan for more than a generation of my childhood. But yeah, have you loved Thomas as well? I mean, put in the comments down below. And let's get this video to at least one like because this video was a great video to make. I enjoyed making this video. It has been one of the best videos. And yes, I will continue making the Jaga video, but Thomas for now, I would love, and I also love the Jaga too, but for now, it's Thomas right now. And yes, the Jaga videos are becoming on the way, and yes, Thomas videos will start very soon. Very, very soon. But, in the meantime, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notifications whenever I post a brand new video, and until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!